the first cannon shot of the Second World War, is fired on Danzig. What's going on YouTube? It's been a little bit and this video is definitely a little different than what I'm used to and what you're used to and I'm gonna explain that a little bit. So about a week or so ago, I was searching the interweb. Something hit me that I wanted to start collecting World War II memorabilia, whatever I could find, right? So doing a little searching and I came across a coat from World War II from a Sergeant William K. Weaver he resided in West Virginia and I have paperwork on him. So I thought I'd go over some of that with you guys and show you. Um, I'm gonna read it and it's gonna pop up on your screen. Sergeant Weaver was declared a casualty of World War II. He served with honor in the United States Army. He is remembered by the people of West Virginia. May his positive example inspire us working together towards peace, mutual respect, and equality for all. Profile ID is 546461. Service ID was 35. 433481 from Kanawha County, West Virginia. He was in the army, a sergeant, killed in action, unfortunately, poor guy, but it comes with the territory. He had a Purple Heart, other accommodations and awards, World War II Victory Medal, Purple Heart, American Campaign Medal, Army Presidential Unit Citation, and Army Good Conduct Medal. So there wasn't too much information on him, just the basics. Um, right here I have, again, his army serial number, which I did my research and all that. And if you actually type that into Google, it brings up his um, World War II status and all of his information on that. A brief scope of this is this series contains records of approximately 9 million men and women who enlisted in the United States Army, including the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps. Again, just a little more in-depth detail. He was enlisted on the 20th of June in 1942. He enlisted for the duration of the war or other emergency plus six months subject to the discretion of the president or otherwise according to law. He was born in 1910. Education was only grammar school. He was single without any dependents and I do believe he died in 1944. So born in 1910, enlisted in 42 and died two years later. And on this sheet it's him with his ID number right here. So I thought that was really cool. I'm gonna start collecting more of these World War II items. I wanna to try to get a mannequin to where I can put like the clothing I receive on it. So I don't have to just have it stowed away in a box somewhere in a closet or anything. But this coat is really nice. It's probably like 20 pounds, it's wool. I'll try to put it on. It's, I tried it once and it's, he was a small guy. Like the length is perfect, just in here is no, it's not, it's not good. But it even has that old, like it smells like it's like right out of 1940s, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a little rank, but it's so cool. It just adds to the, like the nostalgia or the, just that time period, it's really cool. And I tried to find more information on him, but unfortunately there wasn't that much more. There's not even like a picture of him or anything like that, so. This is just a quick little video I just wanted to show you guys. And once I get more, then that'll be coming too. This was really cool and something I'm gonna start doing. And there's other things on there that you can get. You can get like helmets, which were like, I think the cheapest one I seen for helmets was like $3,000. You can get medals, you can get clips to guns, you can get just shrapnel, pieces of cloth. I actually think I found, I don't know obviously, but I'll try to show it on video here. Might be a spot of blood in this coat. <laughs> Just saying, I don't know. It could be ink, it could be anything, but it's really, th this coat is really, really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, thank you.